In the previous video is looking at the concepts of supply and command in the Varlev game. Now supply is quite simple in this game. If you are able to trace uh, a supply line of any length to one of these road hexes, you are in supply. If you are out of supply, supply you end up with half movement half attack half defense and you mark with an out of supply unit now an enemy unit uh, will block you an enemy zone of control can block a supply line but if a, a friendly unit's in it it'll negate that block okay so israel in sewers go all the way back to these road hexes uh arabs in uh from the west bank or the east bank of the canal you're tracing back to these hexes here on the western side of the map if you go over to the Golan your supplies go back to here for the Israelis and for the Syrians they go back to hexes over here, road hexes over here, or road hexes down here. Second concept we'll look at is command. Now command for the Israelis is pretty straightforward. You have to be within uh, the divisional radius, which is command radius, which is that, of your division HQ and be once you're in command like that you can fight full capability but if you're not in command your attack and your movement are reduced by half now for the arabs you haven't got anywhere near as good a command setup as the israelis uh, depends on your well several factors but the most important one is you've got you've got your HQs, your army HQs, which are which which are the main command conduits. Now there are some exceptions to command. Um, certain units like uh, forts, whether they're Israeli or Syrian, or whether you've got fixed SAM positions. Um, units like uh, power drop units, uh, commandos are always in supply regardless. Not, not in supply, always in command regardless. And also remember that any unit is always in command on the first turn it arrives on the map. Now for the um, Arabs it's a lot more complicated. Um, first thing any unit that's inside one of these forts is always in command okay a unit an independent brigade let's say this one here so that's always in command if it's uh, within six hexes of an army HQ well, I say within six X's within the command radius of the army HQ. Uh, a brigade that's subordinate to a division is in command if it's either all stacked together or stacked in separate hexes, but it's got to have two hexes surrounding it with units of its own brigade in it. And also it's got to be within two hexes of a unit uh, another unit of the division which is not that brigade so this unit here which is a divisional asset is in two hexes of that so that meets that supply um, command criteria and then in turn you've got to go those unit the unit has got to be within six hexes of the hq as well Units uh, which are not connected to brigades, uh, the rule is you've got to be within two hexes of another divisional unit, which is in turn within six hexes 
uh, of the Army HQ. Now I hope that's made that clear. It's not easy to explain. Uh, just talking it through. You can tell by the actual bands and colours on these things what is a uh, a core asset uh, and what isn't units that are independent like these which have no bands they've just got to be within six axes of the HQ okay now remember HQs for the Arab side they can't move without the expenditure of operational points so the Arabs to keep everything in command um, is not as easy by any means as the uh, Israelis who can just basically move their HQs wherever they want okay 